Good evening. Today is Friday, September 22nd, 2023. Jump date for Monday the 25th. All right, let's go. Well, now setup's going into tomorrow, or Monday, I should say. This was a night where the scans just really didn't produce a whole lot, and they haven't produced a whole lot uh, lately. As you know, okay day overall in a portfolio. We'll take a look at that at in just one second here. I would think we'd start seeing more energies. This one looks okay. Weatherford, it could actually use a little bit more pullback. And if it pulls back too much more, then it's kind of back toward this, this other pullback. So let's just wait and see. The HV is a little bit on the low side. Usually I don't dip much below 30, although I scan down to the mid-20s usually every day. But anyway, uh, the persistency, or persistency I should say, can make the HV come down a little. So that's one reason that it's a little bit on the lower side, which is odd because energy stocks usually don't have that uh, persistency in them. So it looks okay. Again, let's just wait and see. I like a little deeper pullback. I, I kind of would like something a little bit more exciting, maybe something that isn't coming off of these all-time highs in here. So let's just continue to wait and see. This one actually looks pretty good, but as I've been saying quite a bit, it's got some overhead supply. I know it's a long time ago. But markets have pretty long memories. You'd be surprised. So just not a whole lot to look at just yet. Let's take a look at the lunch of the portfolio. And then we'll pop out to the overall market. KBH, tiny bit of a bounce there. Inside day, still looks like it's in a lot of trouble. Well below that 50, as you can see. Both type moving averages and downtrend proper order. You know the routine one day at a time. KNF, a little bit of a bounce in here. Off its best levels, but I'll take it. It bounced nonetheless, finding a little support towards the bottom of its range. LFMD, a bit of a tail lower, but did close in Flatsville by the end of the day. So that's a slight victory or a minor victory there. Let's take a look at the overall market. We're going to do some drill downs. First of all, as usual, let's go to the P's. S&P 500, a bit of a bummer. Only down a quarter percent, but when you look at the charts, you can see it looks a little bit uglier than a quarter of a percent that actually puts us at multi-month lows so that's not a good thing lots of landry light bow tie downtrend proper order and officially for those keeping score triggering i guess as of yesterday or certainly today this head and shoulders type of top in here again i don't trade directly off the pattern but i do pay attention to bigger picture patterns especially if i have one of my patterns within it nasdaq composite Sort of the same as the P's, kind of has that head and shoulders top look to it too. Well below that 50 simple moving average, closing at these multi-month lows. As I often preach, closing lows or closing highs, depending on how anyone look at it, but closing lows in this case can put a little unforeseen um, or unseen pressure on the markets. Uh, people tend to, it's a little bit of a stealthy action, and then a lot of times you'll get some follow through to the downside after a new closing low. Take a look at the energies up a smidge in here. We're just not seeing a lot of setups just yet, and, but we will. So just sit tight in that area. Foods crashing a little bit in here or, or continue to break down. I should say a lot of areas still look ugly at best, hitting marginal new lows or multi-month new lows. The list goes on and on. Drugs have completely given up their recent breakout in here, as I've been saying, down a little bit today. Biotech, not whack, but down a quarter percent. That's enough to keep it at multi month lows. The list goes kind of on and on. What's kind of interesting today, let's take a look at aerospace and a few other places. You see aerospace continue to kind of melt down in here. A lot of new areas are beginning to melt down too, or beginning to kind of catch up with the rest of the sectors in the market. Like retail, you can see, beginning to bag out some new lows in here. And there was one more. I think I forgot to flag it. Let me find it. I think I was thinking about various areas like durables and non-durables. As you can see, continuing to break down at these levels to multi-month lows. And if, as you go through all these, you'll see there's more and more of these uh, pushing towards brand new lows. Anyway, it's still pretty ugly out there. So let's just sit tight, continue to let things shake out. Sit tight. We could see some setups soon, obviously. Again, as I've been saying, a nausea in the energies and probably not too many other areas. On a little bit of a bounce, we might see a lot of short setting up. And on a big bounce... We'll just have to reevaluate everything and see where to go from there. For now, it just doesn't look too good. Everybody have a great weekend. I will be checking in throughout the weekend on Facebook, so feel free to hit me up there if you prefer to do something in a more private manner. Or you could you could also private uh, message me there, too, if you need something. But uh, if not, you can shoot me an email, obviously. Everybody, again, have a great weekend. We'll talk again on Monday, if not sooner. Thank you so much.